There's still no cure for Parkinson's disease. About one million Americans suffer from it. It's a progressive brain disorder that affects movement. Research scientists now want to revive a previous treatment that involved aborted baby brain cells. Dr. David Prentice is vice president and research director of the Charlotte Lozier Institute. David, scientists are hoping to revive a treatment for people with Parkinson's disease. An NPR report says they're planning to resume tests for baby body parts, baby brain cells. Why did they stop with this in the first place and why are they resuming? Well, the reason they stopped, why it is because it didn't work before. In fact, a lot of the patients were harmed. There was a report in 2001 and then again in 2003, large controlled studies. The 2001 report made the cover of the New York Times and they described the patients as writhing, jerking uncontrollably. They're putting these baby brain cells into the brains of the patients three to four babies needed for every patient treatment. And they're trying to replace the cells that make a, a chemical called dopamine to stop the problems you see with Parkinson's. Well, they can't control it. Mm -hmm. And so they stopped because they were getting these problems and all of these adverse events with the patients. Well, they seem mm -hmm. to think now that they have refined the technique such that they'll be able to control it. I'm very skeptical. In fact, even some members of the groups that are planning to do that are skeptical. It's not a very good way to proceed. It doesn't seem very ethical at all. Are there any ethical use of stem cells or are all stem cells bad? Uh, not all stem cells are bad. Adult stem cells are very good. In fact, there was a report back in 2009 where they had used a patient's own brain stem cells, adult stem cells. The patient went for almost five years with no symptoms of Parkinson's. There's a trial that will start soon in Houston using bone marrow derived adult stem cells. Again, very promising science coming, but totally ethical. Nobody has to die to get these particular adult stem cells. It's interesting when you think about the doctors who are working on this particular new research, they have their own financial stake in this project. In your experience, at what stage of a medical research project does money sort of interfere with ethics? Well, unfortunately, it interferes interferes at various points, certainly at the beginning, because they need money to even start these projects. But they're also looking ahead, hoping to make lots of money because they want to be able to treat lots of patients and essentially make this a, a prescription that someone might write. So there's, there's an incentive at the beginning and then they're looking down the road for, hopefully, they think, more economic success. Dr. David Prentice, Vice President of Research for the Charlotte Lozier Institute, thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you.